Plans are quickly moving forward with the, the migrant shelter at the once abandoned school in Woodlawn. City leaders saying it could open as early as today. CBS 2's Asal Rezai is in Woodlawn with more from people in the community who continue their stance against the shelter. I've had a chance to speak with building security here this morning and they tell me the city does in fact plan to open the shelter today. We've been watching as a number of city maintenance crews have been here this morning. For months now, we've been reporting about some people opposing the plan to move the migrants here into their community. Many people voicing their concerns again over the weekend. The city plans to accept 250 migrants to the former Wadsworth Elementary School just to start. Other people experiencing homelessness could be housed here as well, with the goal to keep the shelter in place for two years or less. Some people opposing the shelter's opening say they're not buying that claim. We want it to be a safe cultural experience as well as a healthy transition. With resources. With resources. With resources. And there's nothing in this area uh, for them to benefit from outside of what the city's going to put in the building. Right now, city cleaning crews are just now leaving the building. We're told that the shelter is expected to have 24 seven security with contracted officers guarding the entrances. We're also told that Chicago police are set to help monitor the perimeter. Building security here tells me that they are anticipating possible protests today. Reporting in Woodlawn, SL Rezai, CBS 2 News.